Let's discuss the topic on financial statements of a company, statement of profit and loss. Financial statements are the end products of accounting process. Basic and formal annual reports through which the corporate management communicates financial information to its stakeholders. The final accounts of a company consist of two basic financial statements, statement of profit and loss, balance sheet. Every company registered under the Companies Act 2013 Act shall prepare its statement of profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow statement, statement of changes in equity, if applicable, and notes to account thereto in accordance with the manner prescribed in the revised Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. Statement of profit and loss is a statement that indicates the financial performance of a company by showing net result, that is, profit earned or loss incurred during the accounting period. Name has been changed to statement of profit and losses against profit and loss account. Statement of profit and loss does not mention any appropriation item. Companies other than finance companies, revenue from operations need to be disclosed separately as revenue from sale of products, sale of services, and other operating revenues. Interest cost disclosed separately as finance cost. The format of Statement of Profit and Loss is per Schedule 3 of the Companies Act 2013. Contents of Statement of Profit and Loss Revenue from Operations It refers to revenue from operating activities. Revenue from operations shall disclose separately, sale of products, sale of services, and other operating revenues. Other Income It indicates income earned from non-operating activities. It may include profit on sale of fixed assets. Interest, dividend, interest, commission received, export subsidy and duty drawback. Miscellaneous Income Cost of Materials Consumed shall disclose cost of raw materials consumed in manufacturing the goods. Purchase of Stock in Trade shall show goods purchased for reselling. All the expenses incurred on its employees are disclosed under Employee Benefit Expenses. Finance Cost It indicates the cost of borrowings. It may include interest on overdraft, debentures, public deposits, bonds, cash credit, term loans, and discount on issue of debentures written off. Depreciation and amortization expenses. It includes depreciation on fixed assets. Goodwill, patents, and preliminary expenses written off are also shown under this head. Other expenses. Expenses that do not find place in the above mentioned heads are brought under other expenses head selling and distribution, administration expenses, carriage outwards, telephone expenses, rent and rates, electricity, sundry expenses.
Bad Debts, Loss on Sale of Assets Wages 1 lakh 20,000 rupees and salaries 80,000 rupees are disclosed in the notes as employee benefit expenses. Closing stock is not shown in the statement of profit and loss because it is already adjusted in purchases. Wages 40,000 rupees and salaries 20,000 rupees are shown in the notes as employee benefit expenses. Interest on debentures 10,000 rupees, that is, 1 lakh rupees into 10% is disclosed under the head finance costs. Sales 7 lakh 20,000 minus return 20,000 equal to 7 lakh is shown under revenue from operations. Salaries, bonus to employees and PF contribution are brought under employee benefit expenses. Depreciation on machinery and depreciation on premises are shown under depreciation and amortization expenses.
Non-operating income, share transfer fees and commission received are disclosed under the head other income. Traveling expenses, delivery van expenses, bad debts, discount, freight outward, showroom expenses, and insurance are under the head other expenses.
Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.